In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a clutch cable from a uh, 2008 Harley Davidson Road Glide. Remove the right saddlebag. We need access to our clutch cover, which we need to remove to get to the clutch cable, so I need to remove the right side of my exhaust. I left uh, the right side of the exhaust. Um, it's not completely disassembled because uh, in order to take these exhaust off, I have to remove the, um, disconnect these O2 sensors, and I don't, they're attached to the frame with these black tie straps, and I don't want to um, cut this tie straps because I don't have any. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I've got it loose enough where I can move it out of the way and get to the bolts in this clutch cover. Uh, so now we're re ready to really work on the clutch cable. Uh, this is my clutch cable. It's connected to my clutch cover here. Kind of runs underneath the frame. Um, comes up here. This is the clutch cable. And then attaches to your clutch lever right here. In the middle of your clutch cable you've got this adjuster here. Um, what you want to do is take the jam nut, which is right here, loosen it up so you can uh, turn this uh, adjusting nut to add slack to the cable like this and when you're doing this be careful because it's easy to hit the fender so um, it's better to do this with a cover on the fender but yeah you want to turn this adjusting uh, nut here so that you add slack to the cable now that there's plenty of slack in the cable we can remove the uh, clutch cable from the clutch lever which is up here at the handlebars you can see there's plenty of slack in the cable in order to do that you need to remove this clutch lever and the way you do that is you remove this pivot pin which is right here uh, that goes through the clutch lever bracket and uh, to get that out you need to remove this snap ring which is at the bottom here so you need a pair of snap ring pliers or you could probably uh, work this off with a small screwdriver but this needs to be removed to remove the, the pivot pin And with the uh, snap ring removed, you can just push the pivot pin up out of the uh, clutch lever bracket. Now pull the cable out and away from the clutch bracket and at the same time pull the clutch lever out of the clutch lever bracket. And then you want to remove this anchor pin, which is this white thing here, and that will release the clutch cable. Now that we got the uh, clutch cable removed from the clutch lever, we need to remove the cable which is right here from this clutch release cover, but before we can do that, uh, we need to drain the transmission fluid, so the next step is to remove the drain plug for the transmission and let all the fluid drain out. Now with the transmission fluid drained out, we're ready to remove this clutch release cover, so uh, there's six bolts on this cover. So, uh, remove those bolts and remove the cover. Once you get all the bolts out and the clutch release cover removed, you'll notice you got two different size bolts. Uh, you'll have four long ones and two short ones. The two short bolts came out of the, the two top holes for the clutch release cover. Also, once you get the cover off, you'll want to remove this gasket, uh, clean up the surface and replace it with a new gasket so you don't have any uh, transmission oil leaks when you uh, reassemble the, the clutch release cover. So here's the inside of my uh, clutch release cover. Uh, you see my clutch cable here. We need to um, disconnect the cable from this coupling and in order to do that we need to remove this snap ring. Once we remove the snap ring we can remove this uh, inner, inner ramp and turn it um, to remove this coupling from the cable. And I'll do that now. You want to be careful because in between the inner and outer ramp are three still balls and they're going to be, once you remove this inner ramp, they're going to be free to roll away. So just want to keep an eye on them so you don't lose them. And take that out of the way. Then you can lift this um, inner ramp up, turn it to this position, slide this coupling out of the inner ramp. Then you can um, 
remove the coupling from the uh, clutch cable. But you can see there's these three steel balls and they're supposed to be positioned like this in this uh, outer ramp uh, part. So we can remove that, set that out of the way so that we don't lose anything. Now the clutch cable is free. We just need to um, unscrew the clutch cable from this uh, clutch release cover and we'll be free to remove the uh, cable. So then you can just unscrew it and um, and your cable is now free to remove off the bike. Uh, one important note is there's an o-ring here that fits in between this cable and the clutch release housing. You want to check this o-ring for cracks or damage. Um, if you find any cracks or damage you want to replace this otherwise you're going to have uh, transmission oil leaks so something to be aware of. Before I end this video I just want to reassemble this clutch release cover. I'll show you how it's done. You want to take your inner, um, I mean outer ramp with the three steel balls that you can see here. There's a tab right here on this outer ramp. Um, it fits in this groove here on the clutch release cover. So you want to put that in place. Make sure that the three steel balls are in the recesses where they're supposed to be. Then take your uh, coupler, which is this piece, this fits on the cable. Attach it to the cable like this. Turn it around. Take this piece, attach it to the coupler. And then that will lock it in place. So it, when you, once you turn this um, this inner ramp, it locks it in the coupler to the to the ramp. Then take the make sure the steel balls are still where they're supposed to be. Um, one more thing, uh, Harley Davidson recommends you use a multi-purpose grease. Uh, uh, apply it to these steel balls. That'll do two things. It will help hold them in place, and it also will provide some lubrication. I'll do that later. Just want to show you real quick how to reassemble this. Uh, place the inner ramp in place then take your snap ring attach your snap ring and um, make sure the snap ring is fitting inside inside of the grooves correctly and make sure that the opening of the snap ring is in line with this this part of the uh, clutch release cover before you reattach the clutch release cover, there's two dowel pins. There's one here, one here. Make sure they're attached before you reattach the cover. Uh, when you tighten down the bolts, you want to use a cross pattern, uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six. That way it's tightened evenly. The torque specs for those bolts is uh, 84 to 108 inch pounds, so you want to torque them to spec. And don't forget to add transmission fluid to the transmission. Uh, if you got any questions, if I missed something, just leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. Ride hard and thanks for watching.